hey, it's Friday before Christmas and I'm running a little bit late. I'm running over to restock the booth in the antique mall called Heritage. It's about 15 minutes from my house. I'm trying to beat the clock before they close. I want to spruce up the booth, you know, before the holidays. Don't really want to go back there this weekend. Would love to get this done today and then it'll be ready to go for after Christmas when generally sales kind of pick up in the antique mall. One key to being successful selling in antique malls is to figure out what works in that particular place. I'm in three different places and they each have a different vibe, so I try to vary it a little bit to cater to that vibe. Another key to success is to be constantly bringing new stuff in. You might need to take something out for a while, let it sit, move it to a different mall if you're in more than one mall. Definitely want to consider reducing prices when stuff doesn't sell, but you always have to be moving new stuff in and out. Obviously, price point on your items is important. You also have to figure out what you're paying in rent, whether you can actually make that work for your booth. I owned a mall for many years myself, and I can tell from experience that just moving the stuff around always helps. Here, I sold the piece that was out front and center, and instead of putting the new piece right into that spot, I moved a bunch of stuff around. So now the whole booth looks different instead of just moving the one new thing into the spot where the old thing sold. Keep following along. Uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe, and we'll see where the antiques business takes me and takes us over the next year or two.